In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with a Crestron Air Media device. I will start with a device that has been factory restored and show you how to find it in the network, set a username and password, do some basic configurations and also connect two USB-C dongles to it. The first way to find the device is simply by having a look at what's being shown on the output of the HDMI. In the bottom left tile here, we can see the IP address of the device. Another way is to use Crestron Toolbox. In Crestron Toolbox, there is a icon that looks like a pair of binoculars that I can press and it will scan the network that I am on for Crestron devices. The first device up here is my Air media device and we can see that it has the same IP address as uh, I saw on the web UI on the screen before. It's 192.168.1.250. I can either enter this into my web browser or right click in toolbox and choose copy IP address. I can then go to my web browser and paste the IP address or enter it as usual. I will then be presented with a landing page where I can, as a presenter, start presenting on the screen. Or I can press this icon up here for device administration. As usual, with a newly restored device, we'll get a certificate warning because we don't have a certificate and we are using the IP address of the device instead of a DNS name. So since this is expected, we'll just press advanced and continue. We will now choose a username and password. A lot of the times we choose admin as the username. That's not a security best practice since that's the first thing anyone would try and if we instead choose something else like my name in this case uh, it's one step harder to guess the credentials of this device and then my password and when those have been set I can log in with the new credentials I will then be sent to this page. The first part here is a status part. We can see information like the phone version, the serial number of the device. We can see network settings and what's connected on the HDMI output right now. Um, but we are going to go to the settings part here. The first menu here is application mode. We'll ignore that right now and go to the next part. This is where I can set a room name, for example, and I will do that. I switch to a view so you can see what happens when I do. I name this room demo room and press save changes. And we can see on the left part of the screen here that the room name was updated to demo room. Another thing we can do is set date and time. So I'm not in UTC minus five, I'm in Stockholm time zone. So I'll choose UTC plus one. I also use date format, year, month, date instead. So I can set that and the 24 hour clock. And when I do this, will take a couple of seconds and then that information will be updated on the device too. And there we go. The time is now in the new format and the correct time zone. And in a couple of seconds the web UI is usable again. So some other things that are here is if we need to connect the device to a, 
a control system or we need to do an auto update or set when to do an auto update. But we are going to go a bit further down here to Air Media because we are going to connect the two dongles. So I press the Air Media button here and I choose Connect Devices. And when I do, I can choose to pair devices. And when in pairing mode, I can connect the device. And we see that it will flash white. My computer also detected that I connected something it, it recognized. And I can now press the white button here until the LED is flashing yellow and white. And it does that now. And we see that the device is online and it will also start sharing immediately. So here I got some basic information on the, about the device too. And if I want, I can name this particular dongle. For example, I want to name it Demo 1. And just tab out of the box and I see that's a check mark saying it's been saved. If I want, I can press the green button and it will stop sharing. And if I remove the dongle, it will say it's offline here. And I can move on to my next one. I connect that one. I press the white button until it flashes white and yellow again. And now that dongle has been connected. And I'll name it Demo02. When I don't share anything, I can also uh, mark this one and upload a firmware. There is another procedure letting us do that when we start a presentation. And we get a message on the screen saying there is an available update. Do you want to do it right now? And if we do, we just press the other button here uh, and it will update the dongle, reboot it, and you can start your presentation. So I remove the dongle again and we can see that they are offline. So the last thing I want to show you is how to do a restore of these devices and also identify them if someone hands one in and you want to find out where this uh, should be in which room it's connected. So if I do go back to toolbox and I do a new discover devices, I will see that the AMTX3100 named Demo02, meaning I can identify my dongle, is connected using USB. If I double click this one, I can do a restore of the dongle and I press restore and it tells me not to disconnect while it do this and when I do it will start to flash yellow and when it's done it will reboot and it will be white again and it will not connect to uh, my Air Media anymore because it's uh, restored. So that's done. I'll do that again. I had two dongles, so I'll do it twice. I do a new discovery devices. I have my demo 01. I double click it, press restore and restore. And yes, and okay. And that's it for this video. Hope you
found it useful and see you next time.